Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading the Remarried Empress episode 145 due to Webtoon's new policy. I do have to blur 50% of this episode, so yes, the cat logo is going up or else my channel will be taken down. Please stop asking me to take off the cat logo. I have received oh, so many this weekend and it's so annoying. I had put in the caption, I put it in the like the screen, I put it in the description box, I put it in the comments, I put it everywhere to notify to all you guys I have to. Either that or I have to cut it and you guys won't realize it, the cat logo won't be up, but I will cut the episode and y'all won't see it at all because it's really annoying. It's so annoying. And I do have all these uploaded on my Patreon page, which is a private page. And I do take off all censorship. I do take off the cat logo because it's my private channel. All my public reads do have to be blurred. Okay? Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. Irritated Crispy. Alright. The Eastern Empire. Was it you? Were you the one who's been spreading those strange rumors about me? I'm so sorry, your majesty. Dun dun. <laughs> Someone asked why I was in another part of the palace, and I merely informed them that you were just looking for something. Bartha, Russia's new personal maid. Her father has been sentenced to death, hasn't he? Yes, but he's a model prisoner. Carry out the execution. <gasps> dun. You... You can't, your majesty. My father is not a ruthless criminal. It's that bastard's fault. If he hadn't killed my sibling first. Your majesty, please. Your majesty. What is she going to do? Die. Huh? No way, we just witnessed that. The Remarried Empress, episode 145. Rashtra! Bang! Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. How severe are her injuries? She has a graze on her forehead near her left eyebrow. It's not a deep wound, but it will, but I believe it will scar. <laughs> Your Majesty. What about the child? The child is well, but Her Majesty should remain ca cautious for the foreseeable future. Huh? The physician just said that the wound on my face will scar, yet he is only concerned about the child? What could have possibly caused the maid to attack the Empress? Oh, well... Uh... It's fine. You can tell me. Uh... Uh... Huh? You may be the Empress, Rashta, but that does not give you the right to end someone's life on a whim. Uh, but, but your majesty, that made hurt my reputation! That still doesn't mean you can condemn someone to death without due process. But Viscount Laundry. That's different, for he was caught immediately after stabbing you. I can't believe I have to explain this to you. The weight of your role may be too much for you to bear after all. <gasps> you are so cruel. How can you scold me after what I've been through? <gasps> I want you to inform me right away. Should Rasha decide to use her authority to harm anyone else, whoever defies my order shall be held accountable for everything. <gasps> He's so heartless, and I'm even trying to hide it. <laughs> He's turning me into a mere puppet of an empress. I knew it. I can't trust him to do everything for me. From now on, I have to find my own path. The maid who told on Bartha is called Mora, right? Give her an expensive necklace as a reward. And let her know I'll free her mother from prison. Pardon? Your Majesty, Moore's mother is a heinous, heinous crime criminal who killed three people by poisoning them. 
You must not release her back into society. I know. I already looked into her. Then how come... <laughs> I want my maids to make judgment based on their loyalty to me and not in line with their moral compass. Shh. Uh. A few days later. I behaved, thoughtless I behaved thoughtlessly the other day. Please forgive me. Oh, she changed her hair. I'll look. I'll overlook it, since you own up to it. The scar must be quite big if she's covering it up. As you know, things have been turbulent in the palace lately. The physician physician also said to be careful for my baby's well-being. So, I was thinking I should go and rest for a few days in the quiet countryside. How does that sound? Were you thinking of going anywhere in particular? Uh, yes, I like to go to Moray. I've been there once before and I, it found out to memorable because of the clean air and the beautiful landscape. Mar Moray? That's a rural territory that borders Rimwell. Did she go there when she was a slave? She must have liked the place a lot if it resonated with her that much during those difficult times. Take a lot of guards with you. I shall arrange a villa for you. Rest there. Thank you, your majesty. <laughs> I'll see he'll agree to anything if I say it's for the baby. Just you wait, Viscount Latesu and Lepetti. <laughs> Things will become very interesting soon. Your majesty. I write to you with some news about Lord Cosair that I came across during my leave. His unit recently raided the Springwater Bandit's tempor temporary hideout. Their leader, Chief Keltrick, furiously ordered his army to retreat after facing Lord Cosair. It appears the unit will sur survey the surrounding territories and return only after the situation stabilizes. The army's official report will provide you with more details. I was worried that something might have happened. I'm glad everything is going smoothly. I should reassure my parents by letting them know. Oh. Oh. It's clear that my parents are much more at ease around Henry than they were in the Eastern Empire. I would have been just as kind to his parents if they were still alive. His parents aren't here to shower him with affections. There are even those who suspect that he poisoned his brother. Is there a profound sense of loneliness hidden behind that smile facade? Why are you just standing there, my queen? Come, join us. I don't think his love will last forever. But Henry is my savior and my husband. I should make him happy. I shall bring him as much joy as he brings me. Now, you know, first we have to address the elephant in the room, which is Rushta. Why does she want to go to the countryside? What is it What is it that she's planning against Viscount Lotetiu and Labetti? You know, she does have a huge grudge because Labetti was trying to woo the king and yeah, that didn't work out. And so now, what is she up to? Now she's hiring people to do her dirty deed. She pissed off someone and she got whacked in the face on the forehead. And now she's kind of realized, like, hey, so Beishu don't really care about her like the way he did. Because he just wants a baby at this point. And now we kind of fast forward to um, Nabier and Henry. Like, I wonder why she's just so held back of, like, so afraid of loving him. And it makes sense, you know, the fear of one day someone just stop loving you. It is, it does happen. It happens in real life all the time where couples fall so deeply in love so quickly and soon that flame just dies out and there's nothing left but like an empty shell. And eventually people divorce or break up and go their separate ways. And it's scary because 
you know, as you get older, you realize love doesn't really last like that. And if you do, you have to work really hard to maintain that relationship where it keeps on burning. So, yeah, adult talk here. But oh, it makes me sad for Navier that she keeps thinking like that instead of just embracing it in the moment, at least. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and the way I react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about this read, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!